During the dry season, giant African snail populations appear to drop significantly. But, Chief Plant Protection Officer Dr. Genogo Francis is urging the public to stay alert. They're still active because there are some places where they are quite, they're still active. But for the most part, um, they are in a state of uh, rest or isolation, um, waiting until the wet weather starts. So it's not that the snails are not there because our staff have been collecting and they're still getting quite a few. This, she says, is concerning for farmers as well as citizens involved in backyard gardening. The snails um, pretty much have a very wide um, range of, of, of um, crops and so on that they feed on. Those snails are present in over 70% of the island. Dr. Francis tells ABS there is a possible way for residents to keep their crops safe. From the literature, that is what it, um, it points to, that there are some plants, especially the pungent herbs and so on, that the snails um, don't really affect. She says the suggestion was made to farmers earlier this year during a series of town hall meetings. We spoke about some some plants which could repel the snail, not necessarily kill them, but keep them away because they don't like the pungent odors coming from them. Those plants, she says, belong to the mint family, including thyme and rosemary. Results, however, have varied. We had mixed reviews when we made that presentation, when we made when we made that point at the town hall, because some persons were saying that um, that was not necessarily the case in their location. Dr. Francis tells ABS. There's one method that's tried and true. The fundamental thing is that when you see them, collect them. Collect them and kill them, because the less you have in the environment, the less the impact of those snails on your crops would be. Rakib Aparicio reporting for ABS News.